Hey everybody, this is Jim from Jim's Holiest Coley. Yes, yes, this is it. This is like the perfect coleus weather. We're getting a little thunderstorm here, nothing crazy, no high winds, a lot of humidity. It's like a hundred percent, obviously a hundred percent humidity. We got some rain coming down. So what I do is put out the coleus that I, my favorites, Aside from my stuff, my coleus on my property, I have some other coleus. I have my Boston fern out here, which loves the humidity and, and, the, and the, mo the moisture, the mist. But I got these. Um, I ordered these at Rosie Dawn Gardens. Uh, these are some just uh, some different coleus that have been very slow growing. They've been just, they just stalled. But I did have them as doors mostly, so I'm keeping them out now. Um, again, nothing crazy out here. Um, but this is perfect weather. Perfect, perfect weather. Uh, again, hot, humid. Actually, it's not really steaming hot. I mean, it's just a very high, humid day. And this just does wonders. Not, I mean, for the lawn and so forth, but particularly for your coleus. Uh, again, you have to be careful once they start really going crazy and growing. You can see they'll, they'll start collapsing a little over their own weight. If that happens, if um, once they get really bushy like this, you have lots of branches. If your coleus branches out and breaks off due to weight, just put that branch in a glass of water or a little bud vase. And in about four or five days, you'll see some roots. Uh, that's called rooting and you can you can you have a new uh, coleus plant right there just pop that into a pot of, of, of good quality soil miracle Grow or Jonathan Green and you got another coleus you can see here got some a little jitters in there that was getting overgrown by these other monster leaves so I cut away all those leaves you see I got a lot of little cutting here and, and I'm gonna give that fella a chance to come out and fill uh, I just trimmed these just the other day and here's my, um, if you look at some of my older videos, this was a single rooting of a silk stock, a black stockings plant. And I'm so happy because the mother plant was very old. It was about three years old and it was, it was really declining and it died. But I, I, I saw a couple of good, healthy um, branches that I cut off. And I'm very happy I did because this thing is exploding. So I've been... I put it in a medium-sized pot. I've been rotating it. I have it in my yard. But look at all this growth. It's a beautiful. These are really unusual. So, and again. Now, what happened with this monster? This is a really big Defiance Coleus. And I'm trimming it. I can't keep up with this thing. I trimmed it just the other day. And it's just killing me. And what happened was, my son and his friends were playing basketball. And the basketball... Unfortunately, you know, um, hit the plant and it broke it off. So what I did is I uh, cut the uh, the broken branch and I root it. I'm rooting it, but I have so many of these and I have so many seeds, so I'm not really too worried about it. But it kind of looks, you know, ugly. This will fill in, so I can leave it like that. I did turn it around a while, but you know what? It's such a prolific, and I love that word because that word, prolific suits these just right because look at the size of that monster and again this is the perfect weather hot humid got a nice steady humid rain thunderstorm coming through here and uh, again so if you have a coleus a whole pot they keep in the doors um, and again you get this bring it outside I mean coleus yeah you could keep them indoors in pots but this is the ideal weather for them so put them outside put them on your you know if you're afraid of like maybe wind or anything like that obviously it's not windy here you can probably hear a little thunder in the background if it gets real crazy I put these down below here's that cole here's a defiance tree again it's going nuts there's the cuttings to that defiance that broke off. So that's what you can do. Just take the, the branches. Look at all the roots coming through. 
I don't know really what I'm going to do with this. I'm just leaving it in the, in the glass because I got so many of them. I just felt bad. So I just threw them in that vase. But that's all you got to do. And I could, I could take all those and right now and put it in a big plant planter. And boom, I got a huge coleus. So, all right. So, uh, whoops. Let's get that over here. Um, again, you get this nice, really humid weather. Get your coleus outside and get your Boston ferns. Put them out for a little while. Get that moisture. Get all that humidity and and mist and everything going because there's nothing like natural rain. So I hope this helps out. This is just a little tip for your uh, for as we. We're getting well into summer, and our coleus are just going absolutely crazy. Here's the, these monster planters on my deck. I just can't keep up with them. Never mind my coleus in my... Never mind all the coleus I have in my greenhouse. But, um, again, this is beautiful. Look at... Oh, God, let's turn it around. Let's turn this around. Spectacular, beautiful full and I'm, I trim this again I just go over these every chance I get every time I come out here I see something needs to be trimmed because this side really goes crazy I got it next to a Rosa Sharon which kind of filters a lot of the intense sun so that's I always say that's really the ideal um, outdoor uh, that's one of the most uh, the most common questions I get from people you know are these sun do they like sun do they like shade they need sun they absolutely need sun but Filtered sun, dappled sun, whatever word you want to use. Morning sun, sun filtered by, say, a bush like this or anything. As long as it gets some sun, is ideal. But, of course, all of my coleus I raise, I harden to withstand sun. This monster here is in sun all day long. And it, it, it thrives almost as well as that one. If not, you know, about the same. So, but here we are out. Um, I'm already soaking wet, not from the rain, but from the humidity. So that's what this is. Uh, and again, my greenhouse, I have my greenhouse wide open and we're getting all that moisture and everything in there and it does wonders for me. So, yeah, some really neat coleus. That's a Saturn. That's a Japanese giant, but it hasn't really grown in. I think that's an El Brito. So these are really nice. And I'm hoping, again, that uh, we can get these things jump-started. So. so if you have a little problem with your coleus, indoor, so forth, pots or whatever, bring them out again in this weather. Keep them trimmed. Fertilize once a month. And uh, keep them trimmed again. This starts getting crazy here. Cut these tops. And uh, you too, you can have a beautiful thick overflowing coleus like this that's a watermelon I believe jitters I just trimmed this because it's really getting out of hand here some other ones there's a kaleidoscope finger paint variation under there another variation of jitters it's about four or five coleus in this big this little mini pot and I just keep it on my deck uh, patio table and you could do that that's just my ideas for you that's beautiful, isn't it? So, okay, I'm going to sign off here because I'm I need to get back into the air conditioning. So, um, all right, everybody, uh, look forward to our next video. Have a good weekend. Uh, here in New Jersey, we're expecting upper 90s and 100 degree temperatures. Heat index is of like 115. So these, ga these babies need lots of, I'm going to have to really give them some attention, make sure they're well watered. They are getting today. But uh, it's going to be a real hot, hot weekend here in New Jersey. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching, and have a good weekend.